Choke fruits. That's your blades. Yeah, one to come up. You move your hands down, up, sideways. So you're looking at the shadow and then looking at the fruit. See that shadow? That's you. Right. Yeah. Don't hit the bomb. <laughs> Big, nice, solid, flowing movements. Yes. Your hands are a little bit higher. You gotta go a bit low. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. Move left, right. Chop some fruits. So the question we'll pose for the audience watching is, what are the applications for this on the end? What? What? Why are we showing you this? Names. Yeah. Networking, definitely. Anyone think of anything else? Training. Training is getting really close, yeah? Yeah, potential. Help. So, the help is the, is the one. So, th this game here is was developed by Halfbeck Studios, an Australian company up, up in Brisbane. I mean, developed it for the iPhone and it went global and now it's on the Xbox Connect platform. But they're doing work with Neuroscience Australia to look at ways how they can use this sort of gaming technology and this sort of gaming platform just to as nice, as much work as with people who are doing rehabilitative type exercises in the home, so telemedicine type stuff, yeah? Whether it be stroke victims or car accidents, those sorts of uh, people can potentially benefit from this sort of gaming platform. Similarly, falls in the home, fall prevention exercises have a similar concept. So I know that my father who's elderly, yeah, he doesn't want to, and he's had a mild stroke, he doesn't like the idea of leaving the comfort of his home to go and do rehabilitative exercises, because you've got to leave the comfort of his home to do it. But potentially, with a platform like this, he can do it in the comfort of his home. He can also have a high-def video conference with his doctor. He can also have his computer or his piece of hardware record how he's going and track his progress. So potentially, if his left arm isn't going so well, more fruit will come up on the left-hand side. So you get the concept of how this is happening. So there's a whole range of developments in telemedicine at the moment. Right, just on top of that, 217. That's a good score. So all those applications require capacity and battery. 
And I guess MPN would work for both of those. Yeah. 